Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we've got another sequence of the XK8. And this is a good example of one where I don't actually recognise it as a secret until I get three people in the space of a month ask a very similar question. And at that point you get, oh well, you don't know, you don't know. So, we're going to look inside our XK8 for this next secret. Okay, so let's start with a question, and obviously I'm paraphrasing, but thanks for sending this in, guys. And the question is, John, I'm trying to change the bulbs, or lamps, I should say, in the map reading lights in my XKA or XKR. And for the life of me, I can't work out how to remove the lens to get at the bulb without damaging anything, scratching it all up, can you help? All the answers, yes. It's again another little secret of the XK8. You can't actually remove the lenses at all to get at the bulbs. What you need to do is remove the entire trim piece and then get at the bulbs from above. But there are literally no screws or fixings in this unit. So, how do you get to them? Well, the answer is it's very simple. Reach either side of your interior mirror. This you won't have in your car, that's just unique to mine, this round disc. Reach up and touch the glass with your fingertips. Put your fingers against the back of the plastic trim and pull down. It's quite firm, but it will come. There we go and away it comes. So on the back of here, what we've got is three metal clips. One right at the back edge here, and two much more burly ones at the front. And the reason you're gonna be working at the windscreen end rather than the back end is these ones are quite strong and you want to be working them, not detaching this rather weak one, which will come off quite easily, and then levering and basically working the plastic rather than the clip. So pull it from the windscreen end. Inside here, you can see clearly the lamps that you need to get at in order to change them. So once you've got this out, you can clearly see one clip, two clip, three clip and the positions they go into are one, two and three. To work on this there's just one connector, let's get the lightning lighting to work, one connector up here, a little white one, just reach in, a bit hard to film, you squeeze it, there's a little tab on the back and that will pop out of its connector. There's the, oops, the bit I squeezed is that little lever there. And then you've got the hole fitting in your lap. And you can quite easily see the bulbs or lamps. In order to get the lamps out, you just need to press a little barb on the side of the black plastic connector uh, down here. Oops, just there. Give it a little push, and out comes the whole unit. You can see the little tangs that I've just depressed, and then. And then the bulb itself just literally pulls from its connector and has this bent over wire effect for a connection on the back. And these are six watt, 12 volt bulbs. And just push back in. Refitting is even easier. 
because you can literally just push it into place and hey presto and while we're in here we'll just have a little look at this other device here now mine's a relatively low spec car and very early and there'll be other devices in yours possibly like garage door closers and that sort of thing but in mine the only thing we've got up here is the great glass breakage sensor and uh, basically a volumetric sensor and it's looking for the sounds or the movements associated with somebody trying to enter your car while the alarm system is still active so if you're having a problem with the alarm system and it's not sensing interior stuff then this is the unit you're going to be replacing and it just disconnects with a multi-plug here and unscrew it um, if you're having false alarms again might be worth just disconnecting this and seeing if that's causing the issue or not and you can see on mine we've got issue 01 date 28th 96 um, batch number 96 treble 08 PS 144 can't say that's the right one for your car because I don't know refitting is obviously just the plain reverse start with your little white connector which goes into a black socket can't get it the wrong way around won't go in you can see the big two clips and this bracket so as you offer the whole thing up just make sure that they go into the holes then bring the back one into contact and this way round, I would connect the little one first because it's easy. Done. And the front two after, like so. And that is the whole thing refitted. So nice quick one today, guys. If you would like to support the channel, then please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. Um, we have merchandise which is available on the website, which is www.tothegarage.co.uk. And you can go over there and buy a window sticker or a sticker sticker or indeed a beanie hat these days. Um, more stuff coming on all the time. No obligation ever, but um, it's all appreciated and hopefully stuff that you guys actually like and we will see you again on to the garage really soon so stay safe guys